Harut and Marut Arabic, ha -erit -wama -erit -harut -wa -marut are the two angels mentioned in the second surah of the Quran, who were present during the reign of Sulayman Arabic, Su -y -ma and, Solomon, and were located at Babel Arabic, ba -abi -el -babylon. According to some narratives, those two angels were in the time of Idris Arabic. Adriyat. The Quran indicates that they were a trial for the people and through them the people were tested with sorcery. The names are probably etymologically related to Harvatat and Ameretat, two Zoroastrian archangels. <inaudible> Islamic interpretations <inaudible> <inaudible> Story of Harut and Marut The angels were astonished at the acts of disobedience committed by the human beings on earth, claiming they would do better than them. Therefore, God challenged the angels to choose two representatives among them, who would descend to earth and be endowed with bodily desires. During their stay on earth, they fell in love with a woman named Zora often identified with Venus. She told them she would become intimate with them if they joined her in idolatry. The angels refused and remained pious. Later they met her again and the woman this time stated she would become intimate with them if they drank alcohol. The angels thought that alcohol could not cause great harm and therefore, they accepted the condition. After they were drunk, they became intimate with her and after noticing a witness, they killed him. On the next day, Harut and Marut regretted their deeds but could not ascend to heaven anymore due to their sins, their link to the angels was broken. Thereupon, God asked them, either their punishment shall be in this world or in the hereafter. They chose to be punished on earth and therefore were sent to Babel, teaching humans magic but not without warning them that they were just a temptation. Topic. Ibn Kathir interpretation The 14th century scholar Ibn Kathir interpreted the story of Harut and Marut and went into depth about what exactly the angels had taught to the people in his book, Stories of the Quran. Narrated al ufi in his interpretation on the authority of Ibn Abbas may Allah be pleased with him pertaining to Allah's statement they followed what the shayatin devils gave out falsely of the magic in the lifetime of Sulayman Solomon. Sulayman did not disbelieve, but the shayatin devils disbelieved, teaching men magic and such things that came down at Babylon to the two angels, Harut and Marut but neither of these two angels taught anyone such things till they had said we are only for trial so disbelieve not by learning this magic from us when Sulayman lost his kingdom great numbers from among mankind and the jinn renegated and followed their lusts but when Allah restored to Sulayman his kingdom and the renegade came to follow the straight path once again Sulayman seized their holy scriptures which he buried underneath his throne. Shortly after, Sulayman peace be upon him, died. In no time, the men and the jinn uncovered the buried scriptures and said, this was a book revealed by Allah to Sulayman who hide it from us. They took it as their religion and Allah. The Almighty revealed his saying, and when there came to them a messenger from Allah confirming what was with them, a party of those who were given the scripture threw away the book of Allah behind their backs as if they did not know, Al-Baqarah, 101, and they followed what the devils gave out, i.e. musical instruments, play and all that blocks the remembrance of Allah. Topic. Critics about Harut and Marut Some Islamic exegetes prefer to view Harut and Marut as ordinary men than actual angels, who learned magic from devils since their legend cannot be certainly attributed to Muhammad. According to Muslim scholar Ansar al Adl, many interpretations of the verse originated from alleged Judeo Christian sources that came to be recorded in some works of Quranic exegesis, called tafsir. Numerous stories have been transmitted about these verses, yet all center around the same basic story. Abdullah Yusuf Ali, noted translator of the Quran into English, asserts that the source of this story may be the Jewish Midrash. Among the Jewish traditions in the Midrash was a story of two angels who asked Allah's permission to come down to earth but succumbed to temptation, and were hung up by their feet at Babylon for punishment. Such stories about sinning angels who were cast down to punishment were believed in by the early Christians. Also, see 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 4, and Epistle of Jude, verse 6. 
Other scholars argue, that the Midrash actually adapted the story from Muslims, but the names were changed to Azal and Shemyaza, terms for fallen angels in other earlier Jewish scriptures, however regarded as unauthentic by Rabbinic Judaism. According to Umm al Qura University professor Abdul Aziz al Harbi, Harut and Marut were merely human beings described with qualities often attributed to angels rather than being actual angels. See also Iraq in the Quran, Tower of Babel in Islamic tradition References Topic. External links In French, Sunni point of view about Harut et Marut at Tahid. Net.